everyone. This is Street Crush with Laney Rao. Do you like my little fake guitar? Laney, Laney, Laney. So good to see you again. What's going on? I mean, any time with you is a joy, and oh, I feel like honored yeah, that this is my third time on the pod. And so, third time. Oh, right, because I I forgot the second. I forgot this is our third time. We well, just talk all the time, I right? I feel so, like I'm a really memorable person. Then, well, we just talk all the time, <laughs> well, right? So, so I was like, I guess three of our talks have been recorded. This is the third time our talk has been recorded. Is that fair? That is accurate. That's 100% accurate. I mean, hey, so, unless one of us has been recording the other without their knowledge. but I don't think you can do that in California. I think there's a law against that. It has to be. Yeah, I think, I think California. you're legally not supposed to do it. doesn't mean you can't do it. I have not <laughs> right. done it. If that makes you feel All any right. better, I have not done it. I appreciate, I appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, so everyone, if you do not know Lainey Rowell, you need to know Lainey. She is absolutely awesome. She is the author of the book, Evolving with Gratitude, Small Practices in Learning Communities that Make a Big Difference with Kids, Peers, and the World. And I actually, we, uh, full disclosure, Impress published uh, that book. So uh, I pulled it up just to make sure I got the entire subtitle. <laughs> and it is a little, it is long, right? But it's, it's long. I, had, I was like, I don't even know if that's accurate, but it sounds good. Yeah, that's fair. It says, it says what it is. And I was looking at this and I like Googled it. And by the way, that's not the sole focus of this podcast. We're actually, this is again. So like every time you publish a book, we're going to do a podcast. This is, so, this is what it takes for us to record a conversation. <laughs> yeah. And Lainey actually just has released Bold Gratitude, um, which is, I guess, kind of a follow up. But there's we'll talk more how it's different. And, it said, and Bold Gratitude, a little bit shorter subtitle. The, the journal, the journal, the journal, a little French. The Canadian. journal, that sounds like pizza. The journal, right? <laughs> the, the journal designed for you and by you. So we're going to talk about this too, but I got to, we got to just talk about evolving with gratitude for a second. So I pulled it up just to get the whole subtitle. It has a 4.9 out of five on Amazon. So yeah. someone, I don't know, someone just, you know, dropped it by that point one because it was like a perfect score. That's pretty amazing though. 4.9 out of five, right? Yeah, so the last, last I checked made. over a hundred reviews, you know, a hundred ratings. 105, and 105, yeah. right? Yeah, yes, that and is USC, right now, like that's pretty good because people don't even have to you used to to get a rating, you had to write a review, but now people can just like oh, I shouldn't say this should could just mad rate you. They mad can. You, you have to be careful with it. Right. Hey, but be kind. So, so, yeah, talk before we get into bold gratitude, yeah, journal design <laughs> for you and by you. So tell, tell a little bit of all your gratitude because I know that the reception has been amazing. People are reading it continuously. I'm seeing it shared all the time. People are constantly reviewing it. So talk a little bit about that book before we get into bold gratitude. I'd love to, especially we're celebrating the one year, at least the time of recording this, it's one year since we released Evolving with Gratitude. Yes. There we go, one year. I, you know, I love that book so much. It is my heart. Um, mm -hmm. I talk about the science uh, behind why gratitude is so important and all the benefits. And I share practices in there. And But to me, the best part is there's 20 educators sharing their stories of gratitude with kids, peers, and the world. Mm -hmm. And one of the best compliments, I was just in Chicago at a conference. Someone came up to me and they said, you know, I... I bought Evolving with Gratitude as soon as it came out. And here it is almost a year later. It's on my nightstand because I still go back and read the stories from the other educators. And so I'm like, yay, that's what I wanted. It's because we know that you can actually experience gratitude through others. And yeah. so the fact that we have, you know, the science in there, the practices in there, but then also these really important stories from some some amazing educators. They're all amazing educators, right. including you, George, uh, generous to contribute a story for that. And so <laughs> I love that. We can be grateful for ourselves. Uh, and, and so I just am so happy that that book has meant a lot to people because it means so much to me. And well, you know, when we, we talked about this and I think my, my fear as a publisher 
is I don't want to put uh, I don't know, this is going to sound bad. I don't want to put fluff out there. I want to put stuff that you know really improves learning. And we talked about this. I'm like, one of the things that's really key is how do you, how do, what does gratitude do um, to really improve learning in schools? And I remember you and I having that conversation and you did such a phenomenal job of connecting it to education because this could be like, just kind of like a feel good and, you yeah. know, that stuff too, but it, it does improve learning. You know, it does yep. really help. And there's that, that really connection. And actually today when I was, uh, I don't know if you saw this, I just posted on, um, a story on Instagram, probably, you know, like nobody cares. And the reality of it, I just, I like crushed myself in my workout. Yeah. And I, I really try to push myself to like discomfort every day when I work out. And one of the things I wrote about, um, when I just posted, I said, you know, I'm grateful that I actually have the ability to do that, that I, you know, like some people would complain about, I'm grateful that, and I think and I, every time I like think of that or like I say, I'm thankful stuff, I always think of you. Right. And I think about how uh, I, I do, I totally, that's why I brought it up. And, you know, um, and maybe it's because I knew uh, you're going to be on my podcast that I post that. I don't think so. I think it's just kind of in my head. And I think that gratitude, um, you know, for things that we take for granted does make a huge difference. So I, I absolutely love the book and, uh, and I'm biased obviously, but if I, well, know, I wouldn't have you on the podcast. <laughs> well, you, I appreciate all of that. You know, th and I, and anyone who wants to associate me with gratitude, please do. But mm -hmm. honestly, you inspired the book. You were a huge part of me going down this road because it was, <laughs> again, again for George, um, because it was when you invited me to contribute to Because of a Teacher, mm -hmm. where I had this very public expression of gratitude right. to a uh, principal, Monique, that I had worked with, that I was, I, I felt like there was more to be explored in gratitude. And that's when I started writing about it. So Maybe. I really do. Yeah. And it, it really, I love how, um, I I'm very proud that it's connected with you. And I know that it's a, it's a really important aspect and really has helped me with my own mental health. And, and, uh, I know we're going to talk about bold gratitude in a second. I, okay. I cannot remember. And so like, you know, like TikTok, and you're like, you remember something that you watch, you know, like you watch it and you're like, Oh, that's good. But then you remember later, you're like, Oh, I'll never find that again. <laughs> so there is some guy talking about, um, when there's something really powerful that when you go to sleep to kind of focus on, um, three things that you're grateful for before you go to bed yeah. and actually wiring your brain to toward that, that when you wake up, you'll actually feel, um, more refreshed. And yeah. there's science behind that too. And ah, uh, like I, I was know, I know. To you and ah, well, I, I mean, it, so <laughs> and you thought of me. Thank you. Um, well, I mean, here's the great news, and this actually could could lead us to talking about bold gratitude. Yeah. Is there's not just one way to do it, and so yeah. the the goal is to have a grateful disposition to that is where we that's how we see the world through this lens of gratitude but it doesn't mean that there's only one way to do it a three lists before we go to bed we know that that is beneficial we know that you can start it in the morning and that would be beneficial we know that you can do all these different practices and they will all have positive effects and the reason I kept going with gratitude is it's just an outsized positive effect. And I wanted to go further with that. And so the response to evolving with gratitude is beyond my wildest dreams. I know in huge part, it's because of the contributors. And I was very careful to be as concise as possible, getting the science out there. This is why we want to practice mm -hmm. gratitude. This is why we want to bring it into our learning communities. This is how it connects to learning. I, I feel like I did a good job. And then to me, what took it from good to great is the contributors, their stories. And so that was just the mm. most wonderful experience. I, it's a dream putting a book out there like that, that you yeah. believe in with your heart and soul. And I wasn't done because I felt like there was more to it. And so that's, that's where bold gratitude comes in. Yeah. And well, th that, you know, uh, as you're talking about this, what, something that really helps me, especially if I'm, I feel like I'm struggling. I really feel, I know this, uh, this is going to sound, I don't know, maybe it's a little TMI, but in the morning when I wake up, I, first thing I do, I put my, I move over on my bed, put my feet on the ground 
focus on things I'm grateful for, visualize what the day is going to look like. And if it works out the way I want it to, and it really helps me, it really helps me. So that's, you know, and I think that's what I really love about this, this book, uh, bold gratitude, the journal, the journal. Oh my gosh. We're never <laughs> losing that. Are we? That's for, that's forever now. <laughs> okay, forever. Designed for you and by you. So first of all, we, we were talking about this before who, like, who is this designed for? Like when you're thinking about this, who, who, who is this designed for? Because this, this is actually something that shouldn't be just for educators, but is like really powerful practice, but there is obviously an education component to it. Well, so here's the interesting thing. When, when we put evolving with gratitude out there, a book for educators, we got a lot of response about like, this is good for parents and their families. Right. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. I like this idea of broadening the audience. And so Allison Liu is the brilliant creative behind the cover of Evolving with Gratitude. And we can give her some horns if we want to, because she's worth it. <laughs> hey, I, I won't be done talking about Allison. Lifelong best friend who happens to be a brilliant creative. Her work's been on the Today Show. Mm -hmm. What is that? Lifelong best friend? All right. Well, I mean, don't be jealous. Yeah. You, you and I have known All each right. other for a few years. This sure. is, I can have more than one best friend. It's hey, I wonder if Katie Novak's going to come on the podcast. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> my new, my best friend, but whatever. Okay. I adore you, George. <laughs> I'm kidding. So, I'm kidding. So, Allison, we designed the bolt. Uh, I'm sorry. We designed the evolving with gratitude. Are you still playing like sad music? Are we? Yeah, I was sad. I had to. Just keep okay. going. So, we designed the evolving with gratitude book cover mm -hmm. before the book was written, which is unusual. That's kind of out of order. Usually, yeah. the cover is designed more towards the end. But I, I really wanted to see the cover in my mind as I was designing this, and I had such a kind of a an idea of where I wanted it to go. And Allison designed it beautifully. And I said, okay, now when you're designing this cover, I just want you to keep in mind, there might be something else down the road to go with it. And she's mm. like, okay, I'll keep that in mind. And that was pretty much all I said, but I had it in my mind that maybe there would be a companion to Evolving with Gratitude and that it would be this interactive, universally designed journal that includes all of the practices, or at least a lot of the gratitude practices because responding to a prompt is not the only thing you can do in right. a gratitude journal. And so Allison kind of like, yes. And then you, I remember in the fall, I said, Hey, at some point I've got this idea and you're like, okay, well, yeah, let's, let's talk about it. And I was like, okay, he didn't dismiss it right away. Like this might go somewhere. And so right. I kept going with it. And now I will tell you really, really quickly. One of the most fun experiences Allison and I had doing it. So she she designed it from front cover to back cover and every inch in between. And the practices and the writing come from me, but it's all about the person using the journal. Mm -hmm. And again, our target audience is tween and above, but if you do it as a family, you can go much younger than that. And right. so- it's it's really cool and I, I i'm excited to tell people more about it because there's this, this a lot is, of you know so this connects to my whole philosophy on innovators mindset how we look at things and when when i was thinking about this as you're sharing the story uh i think it was i wrote this about this in innovates of the box there is this kind of thing like hey like i read a hundred books this year I'm like, okay, what did you do with that? Like, what did you actually yeah. do with that? And my big philosophy is I'd rather read 10 books in a year and actually blog about them, do a podcast on them, actually take that time to reflect and do something with that information, which is kind of the whole premise of the innovator's mindset. It's, it's, it's actually not just knowing, it's what you create with what you know. Right. And so that's why I really love about this because it's not just like, hey, here's, we're encouraging, you know, gratitude practices, but we're actually wanting you to kind of be a part, like make this your own. And I think, you know, the journal design for you and by you, um, like, what does that, what does that look like? I, and you're kind of giving us a sneak peek. What, what does that look like since it's designed for you and by you? What does that look like? 
So when we say for you, it is super intentional knowing that we are all unique and dynamic and trying to give as much voice and choice as possible. So throughout the journal, which we're very clear, it, you don't have to go in order. You can hop around like a bunny. You can go in order like military drill sergeant. However you want to do it, it is up to you. But we have all these different activities. And even within the activities, there's a lot of choice. But just to give you a little sample of some of the things that are in there, you know, we have fill in the blanks. If you're not in the mood to do a lot of, you know, just write, 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 write. If you just want a little dash of inspiration, we've got these fill in the blanks. We've got these activities that are really designed to encourage your creativity, whatever that looks like. If you're artistic and you want to draw, that's great. If you're like me and it's more like stick figures, that's totally fine. If you want to bring things from the outside in, you can. And so this is where it's going to be totally up to the person who has the journal, what do they want to do with it? And so for some people, they might actually turn it into almost a scrapbook where they bring pictures in, where they bring things from magazines in. There might be some people who, like I said, draw or sketch. And it's just really meant to be, we offer some guidance. Like I put these activities that I've been using with people for years in there, but giving as much flexibility, as much voice and choice as possible. And I'm like so excited about it. I think people are going to love it. Like so I am excited for my own copy. <laughs> I'm listening. So I'm, as I'm listening to you and I made the joke about Katie Novak being, cause you two fight over which, if I'm your best friend or not. And then obviously when it push comes to shove, I'm neither of your best friends. Ouch. Right. Cause <laughs> no, it's not me. It's both of you. Uh, Katie Novak and Catelyn Tucker are best friends and you and Allison are best friends. I'm just like the leftover, but whatever. No, no, no. The whole no, no. conversation, but going back to Katie Novak, as you're describing this, this is a very um, UDL type of yeah. journal as well. And so, tell me, like, so I'm a teacher in a classroom, and you know, I like we used to have uh, journals, yep. you know, type in a classroom, but it was like basically every kid doing the same thing. So, what could this look like if I'm a teacher in a classroom? And I actually have this journal for all of our students. And I'm working through this with them. What, what could that look like? Well, again, there's a lot of choice there. So there could be a teacher who says, you know what, right now I actually do need kids to be journaling in a more traditional sense, yeah. but you can give them choice on the prompts. This is one of my favorite things. Right. So I actually have a, this is not what it's going to look like in the end because this right. is just printed on eight and a half by 11 and the book's right. going to be bigger. But one of my favorite things that came from Alice and I going back and forth on like, well, how do we decide how much journaling space to give them? Is we have throughout the book, we have these pick your prompts page. I know it's not going to show up great here, but the mm -hmm. idea is we give a whole bunch of prompts. This section has to do with gratitude for improving your well being, for your happiness. And you just pick one. And then on the pages that follow, you can either rewrite it or stick it. And so a teacher who says, you know, I am the firm goal is I do need them writing today. Right. Can say, okay, go to this section and maybe they want to focus on relationships with peers so with their with fellow students so there is a section on gratitude with my peeps and so go to that section pick one of those that speaks to you right now and write about that so that's one way that it could be used mm -hmm. in a classroom now if a teacher wants to give even more flexibility they could say okay just go to the gratitude with my peeps section. You've got five right. minutes and pick one of the activities. It could be something like, uh, we have so many different activities in here, but it could be something like the, we have a gratitude chain in here. We've got uh, this one right here is more of a fill in the blanks where it's like, I'm grateful people who make me laugh, peeps who I cheer me it. on, people who stretch my thinking. So we've got these different activities in here. And as one of them's writing a thank you letter with prompts. And so it's just really meant to give as much voice and choice. And, you know, firm goal is this, right. all the different ways you can get there. So, I love, I, mean, I, I love that because there, that is, you know, I, when I do the podcast, um, I have my own little ways of writing notes. I know that's not, going to sound bad. I also draw the same guy over and over again. <laughs> That's not bad. Why is that bad? I've been That's doing great. it since I've been six. It's the exact I, same guy. 
you feel close to this guy, right? Right. And I just like do his hair the same. Perfect. And I do his neck the same. And it's just like, you know, that, that are, there is some, I, and I don't know that helps me concentrate, right. You know, kind of connect the ideas. I draw a lot of arrows and stuff like that. I know this is terror. I'm like, a no, mess. this is great. And that's, and that is definitely how some people process and yeah. we should have the freedom to do that. Yeah. And, and I, I love, I love that aspect of it. I think that's, that's really, really powerful. We actually have at the very beginning, and like I said, I say we because Allison is the designer yeah. and the activities are from me, but there's some things that Allison came up with. So she thought it would be an amazing idea and I couldn't agree more. We have directions for making an origami corner bookmark. It's like, well, mm -hmm. if you're in a journal where you're going to jump around a lot, maybe you want to save your space for the thing that you think you might want to do next, or maybe you just want to mark the last thing you did. So, so much fun stuff like that. We have at the front, um, everything is just suggestion. Like we, we, we will, we actually have parts where we wrote the word should and intentionally crossed it out, could do this because mm -hmm. we are not telling people how they have to do it. Right. But we give some samples of like, maybe you want to grab some sticky notes in different colors and shapes. Maybe you want to grab some colored pencils or crayons, gel pens work great, scissors, tape, glue sticks, washi tape. Like we want people to have so much fun with this and really lean into the creativity of it in mm -hmm. whatever way makes sense to them. For you, George, it's doodling. That's great. Doodle that guy on doodling every page. Guy. That guy One can day. be on every page. He's like, every page. That's, that's your, we've done this. <laughs> you know, so if you're, if you're listening to this right now, um, which you obviously are, because you just heard me say that. <laughs> he, here's, here's what um, I would strongly suggest. Pick one, a copy up for yourself as an educator, use it yourself and go through the process. And then this would be great for your classroom. And I think that that's what kind of, I, I like about it. You know, it was not, it's not the only thing I like about it, that it's not like I can, there is never a journal that we had when I was a teacher that was also something I could benefit from. And I'm really big on, you really, you want to see the effectiveness of something, you have to kind of go through the process yourself. And so mm -hmm. I love that, that, that connection to that. All right, last question. Yes. So a classroom gets this, teacher gets this, a parent gets this and does it with a kid. What do you, like, what, what's the ultimate outcome? Like what's the, the oh, best yeah. possible outcome of this or what, what it will do for somebody? So, so my hopes, the three things that I want to have happen because people do this journal is I want them to get that flood of happiness chemicals mm -hmm. as they're doing it. I want this to improve their well-being. I also want it to help take their relationships to the next level. I want this to improve their those interpersonal relationships between, you know, student to teacher, student to student, teacher to teacher. Like I want it to help with all of those. And then the, and, and I'm actually telling you the sections of the journal mm -hmm. because there's a section on, you know, gratitude for happiness. And then there's a section on gratitude with my peeps. Again, that's taking those relationships to the next level. And then the last section, I'm so proud of all of the sections. And this one makes me really smile, make the world a legit better place. So right. gratitude with the world. And this is where, again, we're really encouraging people not only to bring things into the journal, to, you could call it scrapbooking, you could call it memory book, whatever you want to do, um, but also to take things out of the journal. So we have cutouts in the journal. And one of my favorite things is we have these designed little like, yay, wow, you're awesome kind of cards that we want people to decorate if they want, they don't have to, they could just cut them out. And so they look like this. Sorry, you're going to see my little notes because this mm. is still a draft. Right. They cut them out. They keep them with them. And then when someone does something amazing for them, say thank you. If they're in the grocery store and someone helps them, give it to them. You and I travel a lot. And I have a lot of empathy for the food service workers at an airport. They're usually catching people not at their best because no. it's very stressful to travel. So I keep right. these with me. And I can't tell you how people's face lights up. I mean. I'm thinking specifically of someone in a food service area when I was at an airport and, and I was just like, hey, you just have been like so kind to me and your smile is so great. I just want to give you this. And their whole face just lit up. And I, I have a feeling maybe they don't, 
get that kind of interaction a lot. So, so that's wow. the, that's the hope. I want it to make people happier. I want it to improve relationships and help make the world a legit better place. It's, it's like the Swiss army knife of gratitude. I feel it's got, oh, it's got like everything. That's good. I might use, I'm going to use that. I'm gonna I got, okay. So I, I got a story for you. Here we go. You ready for this? Oh, you're getting comfy. Here's a story. Settling in. Well, you know, you just kind of triggered something that I thought about. First of all, I'm really big on when the idea, like there's a lot of talk about getting the world better place and, you know, and that's great. I think that's really important. I was just thinking about this. Uh, I I really don't appreciate advice from people that don't live the things they're encouraging. That's that's a really big thing for me, right? Like I got to see your... I got to see you're on the path that you're encouraging me to join. If that makes sense. A hundred percent. If you really want to change the world, you start with yourself. That's, yeah. that's a, a huge belief of mine. I, I, that is something that's really important to me. Um, when you're talking about having that time to uh, appreciate people, we're, we're at Olive Garden recently. And, was, and Olive Garden, by the way, don't be making fun of Olive Garden. Not, like, I was just thinking the last time I was in an Olive Garden was right. with Paige and your girls. Olive Garden's legit. It's so good. <laughs> Red sticks. All you can eat salad. Come on. This is so good. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. So this guy, his name's Jonathan. He's our server. Amazing. Just incredible. Yeah. And like I'm watching him be incredible to like four tables. Oh. And I'm like, how is this guy doing this? Like, he's just so on the ball, just incredible. And like, there, when when a uh, when someone who's a server asks you for something you need before you ask them, like that that that's you know that's a really. And that's I grew up true. in a restaurant, right? Like, so this is this is my childhood. Anyways, super quick service, amazing food because all of is amazing food, and. uh, and um, I actually, I'm walking out the door and I said, can I speak to the manager? And then the person's like, um, is there anything I can help you with? Which is basically, <laughs> I, like, I'm going to create the barrier so you don't yeah. yell at the manager. I'm like, no, no, nah, I just want to talk to the manager. And I, I'm like, it's, I'm, and I just said, it's, it's good. Don't, don't worry about it. And then, so I'm sitting there waiting for the manager. And Jonathan walks by. And he's like, oh, you're still here. I said, yeah. I said, I'm just actually waiting to talk to manager. And he's like, you are? And I could, I could, I watched him. He went, Sweat. he went through every interaction he had with me during the meal. He's auditing. And he's like, where, where did I, like, what did I do wrong? I'm like, no, no, Jonathan, it's good. I'm actually like making sure they know how awesome you were. And, and the thing that, and it bugged me. The thing that bugged me a little bit was he was so relieved. I wasn't going to say anything bad. He wasn't happy that I was going to say anything good. And it, I just, I thought a lot about that because it's just kind of a reflection of the world mm -hmm. is that, you know, people are relieved when we don't say anything bad. And I just, I, that's what I love about this, this whole, it's like encouraging people like that, that should be the norm. And I'm very cognizant of this because I was working with a group of educators the other day and we, I was talking about, we like, we, when something really good happens in an organization, we don't encourage people to share it. But when something goes wrong, people hit up Yelp, hit up Google reviews, all this other stuff. And it should be the default. When we see something good, we acknowledge it. And that changes things. And I know, and that makes me, that makes me better off. It makes me happier. And like, sometimes I feel Gratitude for others is a little bit of a selfish thing because it does make you feel good. Is that fair to say? It's a win-win. It is a win-win. Yeah. Yes. Like when you do this for others, you're going to benefit as well. So mm -hmm. it's this pro-social, mutually beneficial, outsized positive effect. And I love what you said. And what what I have done, and and thank you, that was a very nice compliment that I am living the things that I'm, mm -hmm. you know, encouraging other people to do. There's actually an activity in here that is a a kind of a template of how you could leave a positive online review for <laughs> for a business right. because yeah. because there's so often where we're quick to jump on and be like, this was terrible. You know, I if I'm going to give feedback on improvement, I don't do that publicly. Like if there is something, I'm going to do that privately. Maybe. 
I am in lights about the things that are good because that's not necessarily something that happens often. And so I want to make sure and really shine the light on the good publicly. And then if there's a conversation that needs to be had, I'd like to do that privately. So hopefully. Well, I, I appreciate that you live this and I appreciate you created this book to encourage people not just to read it, but to live it. So yeah. it, I encourage you, everyone listening, pick up a copy of Bold Gratitude, the journal design for you and by you. Um, we we're really excited about this. And this is this is a different type of book that we're publishing, which is kind of, if pe for people who don't know what Impress is, it's Innovator's Mindset you know, Press. And the whole idea behind it is to do things a little bit different from yeah. uh, you know books that we're used to. So congratulations. Uh, to you and Allison and uh, everyone listening, I hope you check out the book. I know you're going to benefit it from it tremendously. The practices that you share, I've tried to incorporate my life. And I'll tell you that I feel way better. Uh, my mental health is way better over the last couple of years than it was prior. So um, I appreciate you and, and congratulations. Thanks for all you've done to inspire me, George. My uh, bestie. Uh, yeah, whatever. It's too late. It's too late. Thanks everyone for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks, everyone. Wow. Wow. I'm doing nice. solid air guitar. Have a great day. <laughs>